Hello, video 109, viewing data part two, and more specifically, how to use the view guides. The view guide is that menu that I have up here, but if it's not visible in your system, pick it up from view and guide. One of the immediate uh, things that you have with the view guide is that when you're zoomed in, in the location, you will see that it's indicating you while you're zoomed in on the total view where you're at. You can actually, so it will follow that location on here in the view guide. You can actually even go in here and even do things like this. So this is, an, this is a live window that you can manipulate. Let's look at some other things what you can do with the view guides. For example, I want to, on this uh, top layer over here, I want to see all of the instances of this circle 10. Where are they? Well, I could select that, go in total view, and I could go down and actually total view again, and maybe go down here, and maybe they're somewhere else, which I don't immediately see. So the view guide will help us by you can just make a zoom level that you're comfortable with. You initialize your zooming, which basically with the top left, you can also quickly go to the four corners by clicking on the respective icons up here. So let's start back at the top, at the top left here. And now it's scan, since we are in the plane in selection mode, when I click on scan, it will bring me to the first instance of selections. When I click again, since it's, it's moving the, shifting the window over, now we see the last part of that. Click again, here is our one. And when it's scanned one more time, it's at the end. And if I click one more time, it, even, it tells me, you know, there's nothing to show anymore. So that's an example of how you can use selections um, and very quickly find where they are. Like if this job would be a lot denser, it might not be so obvious where all the instances of the selections are. The view guide brings you right to it. Notice that there is also a red, green and blue button over here. They actually correspond with my planes, plane one, plane two and plane three. So if I want to, as an example, let's say my customer tells me, let's first reset selections. My customer told me on the, I want you to pay close attention to the locations that are represented by uh, C2. And let's take another example, like maybe over here, U or V1, total view. I'm actually going to now have the system tell me, show me the information on my component layer that where there is information that is selected on the green layer in this case, plane two. So the way I do that is, again, I take my zoom. I make sure that my layer is active. I switch to the plane two over here. And again, I will just initialize it by going to the top left, scan, scan one more time, and I'm at the end. So rather than having to do things like go on the this layer, okay, where is it selected? Oh, I have to go here, then maybe switch, switch layers around, switch planes around the view guide will help me out. Another example would be like, in this case, there are selections on the green layer, but let's take an example where we have, um, there's no selections. Like on this um, drill layer, I'm actually going to take my non-plated, I'm gonna take them out, create a layer that is specifically for the non-plated, so I'm separating the non-plated out. 
I could have go, of course go in there with the tools that we've learned from other videos and say that this is non-plated, but this is actually not important for the purpose of this exercise. What is imp more important is that I can now say, put my, for example, my non-plated layer in blue, display my component layer and quickly go and say, okay, show me all of the, all of the, the positions where my non-plated are. So again, initialize top left, scan, scan, scan around, and it will bring me automatically to all these locations. So I don't have to zoom in or use my arrow keys on the keyboard. Now the arrow keys actually do correspond with, if you are in here, you can click on these arrows, but that's the same as using the arrow keys on your keyboard. We also have an automatic version of this. What that means is that rather than you clicking, you can just zoom in and you click on auto and it's preset to do like within a second, it will jump from automatically walk over. And there is a setting in the system that we will discuss in a different video where you can set that time that it takes to skip. There's also the sense as to this one is going top starts, top left, goes over to the right, comes back. We can also have it go from the top, first going down, then jump back up and so on. So let's do that just to show you. So now it jumps. You see how it's, it's jumping over here rather than using horizontally, it's moving vertically. So if you prefer doing it that way, you can certainly do so. There's also some buttons that you can't see the way I have them displayed. So for a moment, I'm going to toggle this out to show you what they are. They are memory. Memory, what does that mean? One, two, three, four. You actually have the ability to store four locations that the system will return to if you so desire. The I'm going to reload my workspace like this. And let's say that as an example, at a certain moment I was over here, I may want to revisit this. So I can just click on that button here. You hear it, the system beep, and that location is now stored. So if I want to revisit this, like I've been here, done all kinds of things, total view. I have no idea anymore where it was. From the the other video that we have on viewing data, you also that we, you know that we have the history, but that location is long gone, but I still wanna go back there. Well, I can do so by just simply clicking on that button and it will bring me to not only the location, but actually the zoom window that I had active at that point. So that is how you can use the view guide to view different data. I want to also point out that we have, I have to have the magnifier up here. The magnifier could be useful. Uh, some people like to, to have the, they want to basically see when, when we are switching to the magnifier, the magnifier will show you where the information without me zooming in, it shows me the information that's right underneath the cursor. And in here, so you can just move over if you don't want to zoom in and want to have a quick look. That concludes video 109.